Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today is actually a really, really special day. It's uh, our six year wedding anniversary. Uh, and we started the day off really great. We dropped our son Zayden off at my in-law's house. Yeah, and then we were able just to spend the whole day um, just enjoying spending time with one another. Mm -hmm. um, but it actually still is quarantine here, so we had to pick things to do that were outside and things that involve social distancing. So we had to get a little creative, but we still managed to have a lot of fun together. Yeah, so we decided to actually take a trip down memory lane today. Uh, the first place we went to was a lake called Lake Elizabeth. It's actually the lake where uh, we first started going running together and the place where I asked Rachel to be my girlfriend a long time ago. Uh, after that, you know, it was a really hot day so we decided to go have some milk tea. And so we grabbed milk tea and went over to this place called Shin Park. That's also a really special place as uh, we got married there. It's a place where we got married. And um, it was, it's a really beautiful garden and a historic house. So it was just such a wonderful place to, to spend some time together here. Ah, it was really nice. So after Shin Park, um, we did something really, really exciting. We went grocery shopping! Okay, so I know it doesn't sound like a really big deal, but I actually haven't been to a grocery store in over three and a half months. Logish has been doing all the grocery shopping for us. So it was just really nice to get to go grocery shopping together. Mm -hmm. And then on the way home, we picked up some delicious Indian food and came home and ate it and enjoyed it with one another. Mm -hmm. So while we are on our day today, we were just talking about the good old days and sharing so many memories and we were talking about when Logish proposed to me because it's actually a pretty fun story. Um, and remember that we actually have a video of the proposal that we haven't watched in I don't even know since when. It's been years. Yeah, so today we decided let's come together and watch this video and enjoy it and also share that reaction with you guys. So yeah, let's dive in and watch it right now. Okay, so I'm about to propose to my girlfriend right now. She is on her way here. She thinks that there's actually a uh, party that she's going to be doing some fairy magic shows and so on. Uh, she's on her way and this is the ring. Uh, so let's hope she says yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that already brings back so much memories. Oh my gosh. But anyway, guys, just to give you some context. Yeah, so you're going to notice this in a second. Um, I actually used to work as a professional fairy for children's birthday parties. I did face painting and balloons and magic shows. Um, so you're going to see me in my fairy costume, wings and all. Yeah, so what I did was I contacted her boss back then and scheduled like a fake party for her to go to. And the place where I scheduled that party to be is at the house that we first met. So it's kind of special in the sense that, you know, we are, I was going to propose to her in the first place we met. Yeah, it's so. very romantic. Yeah. Very, very romantic. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep watching. Just have to go. Here, let me take your purse. Well, I actually have my only balloons in it, so it's my balloon bag. <laughs> okay, let's put it back here for now. Do you wanna? <laughs> perform and talk in a really high-pitched voice so it's really funny to hear my fairy voice again um, which does come out every once in a while now yeah. but it, it's full force here but yeah like I was saying in the video it's so crazy because I when I walked in the house I'd only been there one time it had been a while back the night we met and I all the houses kind of look similar there so I wasn't really sure where it was until I saw the owner I was like oh yeah like I've been here before so it really caught me off guard the owner of the house was such a trooper. She came up with this whole idea, mostly herself, and said that, oh, all the children were like, all the kids to the party were like late and they were like somewhere else and they'll be 
coming over shortly but obviously actually there's no kids <laughs> at this point i actually had no idea that this was a fake party i still thought there's no party decorations or anything but i still thought this was a real party so she was that great of an actress <laughs> Joel. Um, I, she just hired my company. Oh, she it's did? It's by complete chance that they picked me to come. <laughs> what a small world. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever met Joel before, actually. Oh, okay. So, well, it'll be new for you. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to see a picture of him? Oh, oh it is so cute. I think one of the reasons why the set, because I looked through, make always contacted my company, um, Happily Ever Laughter. Oh. And then they picked me because I work with children with special needs, and I've <laughs> gone through and been a part of the for another yes. kiddo in India, so it's like, like oh, like, you're perfect for him. Perfect. So I was so excited. I've done a couple of things with him, but you... Yeah, so this part is hilarious. The reason why the owner is asking Rachel to look at the laptop is because I kind of like reached out to all of Rachel's really close family and friends before this and, and put together like a little video for her, for all of them saying some really sweet messages to Rachel. Uh, so that, you know, just to kind of congratulate her and tell her something, something really nice and encourage her. Yeah, and she was such a trooper. You can see that the owner of the house really was such a great actress <laughs> and she did the job so well that Rachel had no idea. I, yeah, at this point I still thought this was a real party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she actually told her that, oh, just look at the pictures of the kids online. But little did she know she's going to watch the video right now. Yeah. Usually not here at home, so... I'll let you see a little picture. So you'll see what this angel looks like. Hey Rachel, um, we've been friends for a really long time now. Um, not as long as you and your sisters, but most of our lives still. And um, it's just been such a joy knowing you and being your friends. You're one of the most encouraging and kind and loving people that I know. Rachel, I've loved sharing life with you these past 23 years, from clothes to uh, hobbies to um, meals at restaurants. We've shared everything together. It has been an honor being your friend all these years. You, It's been great doing crazy shenanigans with you, but also you've been a huge blessing and encouragement in my life. I just want to, you know, encourage you to always stay the same. Don't change because you do have an infectious personality, to quote Lisa, one that people can't help but be drawn to. Well, my Rachel, you are <laughs> definitely such joy to my heart, and I love you so much. You are such a talented and creative young girl, and I things that you've made me over the years have blessed me and encouraged me and, well, of course, made me cry. I, I would like to just thank you for the joy that you bring to others and the joy that you have. I know that's your middle name, and I think it's appropriate. But you really are an amazing, wonderful young woman, and I praise God for the young girl that once came to know him and has grown into such a beautiful, beautiful lady of God. I wanted to say that I'm just so thankful that you're not only my sister, uh, biologically, but you're my sister in the Lord, and just seeing you grow in that relationship uh, over the last few years has been so beautiful, and seeing you mature, and and leading ladies in your church and your heart for God and love for Him is just so beautiful and such a blessing to see. Rachel, I'm a little upset because here <laughs> Logos and I had this beautiful relationship when you were in India and you came back and you really destroyed that. It has been so amazing watching you and Logos just um, be together as a couple and you know watch as your relationship grows. And how amazing that you have met an Indian man in the United States who also, and most importantly, loves and fears the Lord. It's pretty much a match that only God could make. I love you, Rachel. I love you, baby sister. I love you, baby sister, and just don't ever change. I love you, hon. And I'm so excited to see you just this year.
you uh, something about you that I'm so fond of and I just wanted to be with you. Something about you that kept me drawing close to you. You bring out the best of me. You, you've challenged me, you've helped me grow, you've pointed me towards God. You, you're a wonderful godly woman. Your thoughtfulness, kindness, and, <laughs> and your love for others has really inspired me. And uh, we both wanting to have this godly relationship and also just spend the rest of our lives serving God and for His purposes and mission. And this is just some of the reasons why I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Rachel, I love you with all my heart and soul. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> oh. oh man. Oof. That was that definitely took me way back and you know, just watching it again. You're so romantic. Oh. That was such a wonderful proposal. I mean, I would have said yes no matter what. Um, but it was really special the way that Logish proposed and um, it's actually kind of funny because when he proposed, I didn't cry or tear up or anything. Um, but I found myself watching it now like starting to tear up and feeling really emotional um because i think in that moment is just all excitement and now it's just all the memories flooding back yeah and you're totally worth it and i'd totally do that all over again just looking back at that for me on my part i felt so nervous on the day off i remember rehearsing what to say so many times and i still like forgot so many words and i still like choked up halfway and i was like so nervous but i'm just so glad she said yes. You know, not many people can say that they proposed to a fairy, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> Saying yes to you is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Oh, it is one of the happiest days of my life. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Six years down, a whole lot more to go. There you go, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know down in the comments below what you think about the proposal, and uh, if you enjoyed the video please like this video please subscribe we hope to see you in the next one thanks you guys have a good one bye bye, bye.